I use this a lot. <laughs> I use it a lot. I really like it. And now for my um, lips, my favorite lipsticks. And I'm going to check this because I think I might have switched the cap. I think it's supposed to be Sierra, but anyway, it's this color, this NYX color. I'm going to check it. And it's like a, a deep brown color. On top it says it's Hermes, but I'm not sure if it's Hermes because I thought I've been using Sierra, but you probably won't be able to see it. That's it. It just it's just so pretty. It's a nice brown color. It's a nude color, a neutral color. And my favorite lipstick is other favorite lipstick is Fashion Muse by MAC. And I've been using this not too much. I love it though. <laughs> I just don't want it to end that I love the little Hello Kitty, you know, imprint on there. There it is. But yeah, Max Fashion Muse. And my two favorite lip glosses is which I'm almost through with. It's like halfway. Um Max Negligé lip gloss. I think this was limited edition, probably a few years ago. I don't know from what collection, but that's it. Negligé. It's a pretty um pinky purple color. It's just let me swatch it for you. I mean, I don't think they even have this in CCOs anymore. There's the color. It's just so pretty. And I wear it with Fashion Muse when I wear Fashion Muse. And I wear it with other pink lipsticks. And this, um, NYC Liquid Lip Color in Gloss Slipper, which mm, also limited edition. And I've been using this sparingly because I love it so much. And it's just, it just, it looks, it's like a, light light it looks white but it's like a light 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 golden color and that's it. it it looks really good on the lips I also like um NYX's goddess of the night lip gloss in um sunshine number 118 this is like my favorite clear it's clear it looks like it has color but it's clear lip gloss I can put this over anything and it gives just the right amount of shine it's not like uber shiny like ooh. Look at that shiny lip girl looking all Vaseline-y. No. <laughs> it gives you the right amount of shine and I really, really like it. And on my lips, I'm, I'm wearing Sis and um, 3N. Yeah. And my favorite brushes. Um, let me go with the eye brushes. For my eye brushes, um, I like the e.l.f. These two. And I've stated this over and over again. The eyeshadow brush, um, the angled brush because it gets nice into the crease and I really don't have a defined crease um, if you notice you know how my eye is it's like almost non-existent so it's nice to get right in there to find the crease for me and I also I also like their blending brush and um, the eye, regular eyeshadow brush and I like this this is a 219 precision brush crease brush but it's from Oraline Beauty and it's like the MAC 219. Let me move it over so you can see it. There it is. Very nice. I love it. Um, I also like the e.l.f. flat top brush and they call it a powder brush but I use this for foundation only and it's just soft. It gets the foundation on really nicely. It's just I just love it. It gives you a really nice finish. I also like which I got earlier this year Christopher Drummond um, short flat top brush it's so soft it's just it's amazingly soft I really like this and I use this to put powder on powder foundation on that's a Chris he's on YouTube also Christopher Drummond you can just type that in um, he has his own makeup line and stuff what, what? Anyway, I also like my Echo Tools um, Kabuki brush. It's the retractable one, you know, the traveling one. Slide up, slide down. I really like this. I use this almost all the time to apply my um, my MSF or most other um, um, powder to finish my face. I really like it. And if I want um, good coverage with powder, this is what I use to finish my face. I really like it to put on the um, powder if I'm not using liquid and my favorite moisturizer I forgot to um, mention is Clinique's moisturizer in excuse me 
sorry, uh, dramatically dramatically different moisturizing lo um, lotion <laughs> lotion <laughs> and this guys this now let me tell you I got this from the 99 cent only store this is Vaseline intensive rescue heal and repair balm I love this I've been meaning to go back to that store and get like 10 because I love this and the regular price is between six and eight dollars I got this for a dollar and this is amazing it's like Vaseline and they put lotion on it it's just so amazing and I have extremely dry skin but I use this as a moisturizer also the only thing is it does not have, um, have SPF hey papa does not have SPF on it but it goes it looks very creamy like a lotion but look when you put it look how it just Oh, it's just so nice and it's just can feel so soft. I love it. Hey, what's going on? Hey. My baby's sitting down here in his little chair thingy. Um that's it. Oh, and for my face, I really like um this. I don't scrub my face a lot because I have dry skin and sometimes it irritates my skin. I, I don't have sensitive skin whatsoever, but I do have dry skin. But St. Ives Apricot Scrub, I have the gentle one and the um, invigorated one. The invigorated one I will probably use like once or twice a week. And this I use in between those times, so more often than the other one. And um, I think that's it. But if I have time, i got to say my favorite um, perfume is Cashmere Mist. And this is probably my third bottle. I really, really love this stuff. I'm troubled with migraines. And um, this is one of the only perfumes that I have that does not bother me when I have a migraine. And it does not set off my migraine. I really love it. It just smells so good. It, <sighs> it smells so good. I can't do this with any other spray. I can't put anything to my nose. But this I can't. It just smells so... It just It's a filling smell. I don't know how to explain it. But it just smells so, so good. And it just, I like putting it on my skin because it, ugh, ugh, it just smells really, really good. Try it. If Sephora have, if you shop at Sephora and they have that little, you know, sample thing and they have this there, definitely check it out. Try it or go to a store and try it. It smells so good. And it's a universal scent, meaning almost any woman can wear it. Certain scents, um, depending on your body chemistry you might not be able to wear it it won't smell the same or won't smell nice on you this is i guarantee you you will love this it's cashmere mist um by donna karen you probably can't see that won't zoom anyway So that's it guys um, uh, I will be doing more videos but if I don't get a chance to have a happy and blessed new year and I will see you guys there bye love love